you know, wrestling the great Terry Funk. Yeah. Oh, my God. For the hardcore title. And, you know, I can never thank Terry Funk enough for, for, for you know, putting me over and, uh, and working with me. And when you look at that kind of hardcore match, that was two guys working. It wasn't really much said. It was, let's go to work. And he trusted me. I trusted him. And when there was time for me to turn around, I'll never forget we were in the back going back and forth. It was a back and forth match. And he's taking me, he's, he's giving it to me. And then as soon as I'm walking up the stairs, I said, this is your time. You got to do it now. This is in my head, like it was yesterday. So I picked up the garbage can, crack, and I'm coming back. Then he takes the bump off the thing onto the table, go to get him, throw him in the ring. We're going toe to toe. And then all of a sudden I'm pile driving through the, through the table and I win. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I know he's not here no more. And I know I said it a thousand times, but thank you, Terry Funk. Thank you always for putting me on the map as being legit. Because when you beat someone like that, or you get to work with somebody like that, and yeah. he hands you the belt, shakes your hand in the ring, I dare anybody to go out there and find a clip of him doing that for anybody. He did it for me. So there was something special about that. That night in the bar, me and Gene Oakland, and all of WCW there, from Bill DeMott to the Brian Claw, Chronic, Nash, Stick, they said, everybody raise your glass. He said, we'd like to congratulate Vito. He finally arrived. And everybody in that bar wow. raised their Rewind, recap, relive for over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.